All right, so thank you again for coming out, guys, uh, for the second speech. Uh, I wanted to uh, inform you about a little situation I mean, at Blinn. Uh, all y'all know I went to Blinn. <coughs> and uh, there was actually a lot of crime in Blinn, a lot of mugging and a lot of people getting mugged for their uh, belongings and even uh, people getting shot and killed. Um, Yeah, that's one. That's probably the main problem that Blinn has on our campus is uh, crime, uh, especially at night. We only have, well, I wouldn't say one cop that patrols the whole campus, which is definitely not a lot. Um, in the fall of this past 2014 semester, um, a classmate of mine was shot and killed and mugged at a train track, and they didn't find him until the next morning. Um, all his belongings, his wallet, his phone, everything was taken. Uh, so they, at first they couldn't identify who he was, and uh, finally they did. Uh, they did a whole investigation on him. They were looking at his friends, everybody. And uh, to this day, he still has not, uh, they have not found his killer. So it's, it's kind of heartbreaking when I walked into class and there was a counselor in there saying, uh, one of your classmates has been brutally murdered and robbed. And uh, it, was, it was kind of scary because you go to that college campus and you know that could be you. <clears throat> um, also, there was multiple, multiple, I'm going to say more than five, a little less than ten muggings on campus uh, after, after dark. Uh, they were robbed for, I know one person was robbed for their cell phone, another was robbed for their, their backpack, another was for uh, their wallet. So, I mean, it was just a struggle once everybody on campus knew that all these muggings were happening. happening. They wanted to, uh, nobody ever wanted to go out at night. It was kind of scary just to even walk to the library, which was a block down the street. <clears throat> um, we just, I mean, there are many ways to stop all these crimes and everything from happening on Glenn's campus, which one way would be to uh, add more cops. I mean, add two more cops to cover within campus is a total of eight blocks. So if you have three campuses patrolling, or three cops patrolling eight blocks, then most of the time crime's not gonna happen because there's gonna be no time for them to even commit the crime. And now students like me and some of my teammates and everybody will feel safe. Uh, but yeah, uh, the more cops, I mean, the more I'm gonna feel safe. I mean, I know all that stuff's going down right now, but with all the cops and the murders and everything, but other than that, I mean, if I'm walking on the street to a library and I see a cop, I mean, I'm gonna feel a little safe at least, know that I won't get mugged from another person. So that should feel good. Uh, but how would you feel if, let's say, you get a call and a cop saying that Matt was brutally murdered on campus? I mean, it'd be devastating, right? I mean, I would. My mom would be. She wouldn't know what to do. She would lose it and everything. So I mean, if we get these more she cops, would cry. <laughs> if we get more cops, please don't cry. If we get more cops, I mean, we're gonna feel safer from other people, maybe not cops, but from other people at least, and knowing that you won't get mugged. Um, so today, um, I have my petitions right there. Uh, on the way out, will you sign it for me? And I'm gonna give it to the dean to see if he'll be able to get more cops on the campus, especially at night. Uh, patrolling to make sure that students are a lot safer. So uh, please sign it and thank you for coming.